All right, we live. Nah. Yeah, let me check first. <clears throat> Can you all check your phone? Yeah, we live. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. Shalom. 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 Before we get started, we'll give our praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, with top of Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, who will achieve well, and peace and safety to the Akimets around the four corners of the world, of the world that's pushing out this truth, giving out diligence, and putting their lives on the line to do so. These are the brothers out of the GMS Atlanta camp. You know, uh, we're here with another lesson. Touch upon, touching on the topic of, of we want to go home. You know, when we say that, you know, we're speaking of the king, you know, because we all um, know that uh, the America, where we're living in uh, as of now, is not our true home. You know, we're, uh, we're, 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 uh, we're yearning and crying out to Yahweh you know, to, uh, to, to come rescue us, man. You know, why? Because we are here. You know, we feel unsafe, you know, uh, we're surrounded by wickedness, you know, and ultimately we just want to uh, have a pe- have a peace of mind and have rest. Um, you have something that you want to kind of look at. This is Michael 2 and 10. Mm-hmm. This is arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Mm-hmm. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword of destruction. That's right. So hey, the scripture says, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. That's not meaning, that don't mean go you know, out of the country or, or out of, uh, you know, mid thousand miles away. Now that means uh, 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 taking yourself away from the world, you know, pulling yourself away and, um, and ultimately being surrounded by the brothers. And because the scriptures say, you know, when uh, two or three are gathered, I'm in the midst. So that's when you amongst the brotherhood, you're getting a glimpse of me, you know? But uh, just without further ado, we just want to establish you know what um, the kingdom is. So if a brother can get that um, Ecclesiastes box the shop. So this is Ecclesiastes one and verse four. One generation passed away, and another generation coming. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know, with, with Christianity, <clears throat> Christianity pushes on the world. You know that uh, you know uh, uh, when when, uh, when the, uh, the world uh, gets destroyed or whatever. You know that nothing is going to be here no more. You know, it's, it's just a big fairy tale, man. Just will be, uh, you know, just just nothing. But when uh, when you look into that word generation, it means a uh, uh, dwelling place, man. You know, so even it just a, a, a change of, of, of rulership, basically. You know, and that's what it is, man. Esau is in his rulership now. Uh, matter of fact, could rather get that second edges. You know, because uh, Esau is in, his rule, is in his rulership now, you know, but Jacob is soon to come, man. You know, so that's all that that generation is a change of rulership, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you got it. This is Second Edward 6, verse 8. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, mm-hmm. for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. That's right. So Jacob being the uh, the uh, forefather of the Israelites, and Esau being the, the forefather of, of um, Esau, the Edomites, man. You know, so Jacob uh, grabbed on the hill of Esau, Esau uh, symbolizing symbolizing the end of their rulership, man. You know, we're at the, that very uh, we're at the very end of Esau's hill now, man. You know, of pulling down Esau's rulership, man. You know, that's why, if I can say, uh, that's why. Uh, you know, brothers are doing lessons such as this because we're putting down the strongholds that, that Esau um, has on our people, man. Mm-hmm. And, and Israel is coming to the top, you know. So uh, yeah. you can continue. Uh, if you I can add to the point, <coughs> you know, the scriptures also tell you that, you know, uh, the Lord is going to uh, make a new earth, okay? Mm-hmm. So the kingdom of heaven is going to be established right here on earth. Mm-hmm. And when you go into that word new, I believe it means to refresh. Yeah, so it's gonna be refreshed from from under the rulership of Esau, mm-hmm. you know, and, and and given unto us, which you know, which it says uh, Jacob is 
the beginning, mm -hmm. right? Oh, no, Jacob is uh, the world that follows. Mm -hmm. Roughly paraphrased. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of, kind of. So that's that's the renewing of this earth, man. Taking it from one uh, group of people that are ruling right now and establishing it, uh, you know, unto us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of. It's going to be a uh, like I say, go ahead. Go ahead. It's going to be a refreshed generation, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, everything's going to be cleaned up. It's going to be a. Um, it's going to be Jacob and rulership. Mm -hmm. You know, Yahweh Shah with his elect. Yeah, when the, <clears throat> when the when the missiles uh come and hit this place, you know it's not going to destroy, you know uh, the the whole entire earth. You're just speaking of of America, man. You know, so the whole earth. As a matter of fact, just keep reading in that Ecclesiastes. Come, it's Ecclesiastes one and four. One generation passed away, and another generation coming, but the earth about forever. That's right. It says the earth about forever, man. You know, so hey, the, the, once this once this uh, Esau's kingdom is destroyed, <laughs> then like how we read in um, Second Edges, uh, the sixth chapter, then Jacob will uh, establish and, and and refresh the world, man. Hey, and um, you know, just to add another point onto it, our kingdom, Jacob's kingdom, uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai's kingdom, is going to last forever, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not going to be an uh, end of it. why. Because it's going to be established on on on, on the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem mm -hmm. You know, it's not going to be any wickedness. You know, if you see a, a homosexuality or or, or, or a faggot, we gonna put them to death. You know, we see a Edomite going off, we go either put them to death or, or, or give them a strong correction. You know, a, a big smack upside the head. <laughs> you know, hey, that's that's why it, that's why. I, all these, these, the, these, the Roman, Roman Empire, Greek, you know, the Persian, me. That's why all these other empires fell because they had weakness, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it was it wasn't established on the law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. You know, go ahead, bro. This is Ecclesiastes. This Ecclesiastes is a Sirach ten and eight mm -hmm. because of unrighteous dealings, mm -hmm. injuries, and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. Uh, start at verse 4 and then we're right, going to we'll start at 4. This is Ecclesiastes of Sirach 10, verse 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. Mm, it's, it says uh, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. Hey, so what, what's going on now is all because the Lord is allowing it to happen. You get Job 9 Yep, Job 9 24. You know, so everything, and Esau being uh, blessed with the sword, you know, Esau ruling with the sword, it's all because uh, uh, Israel went off, man. You know, it's not because Esau has a certain type of a dominance about himself. Hey, no, nah, it's just the Lord is just is, is dealing with them right now, man. With, with, only with the sword, man. Sure. You know, but it says in due time, read it again. Okay, this is uh, Ecclesiastes of Sirach. 10 verse 4, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. It says one that is profitable, man. Hey, the scriptures say he's going to uh, establish the laws in our inward parts, man. We won't even be able to go off, man. You know? So that's uh, that's that's one who is profitable. That's speaking about Israel, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Got something real quick uh, to add to that point. This is uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Mm -hmm. And that's what we see going on right now. That, that it's not a it's not a profitable person that's running the, the earth right now. Mm -hmm. So the Lord has to come back and, and, and redo this shit, right? Mm -hmm. and, and and get Esau out of out of the power seat. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, verse 16. 29 and sixteen. It says, "When the wicked are multiplied, transgressions increase." Increases, mm -hmm. but the righteous shall see their fall. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's that translation of the king. Mm -hmm. This guy has to go down because in order, I mean, it can't be two people ruling. It can't be two kings ruling at the same time. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to go down in order for the next, you know, uh, establishment to rise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's just uh, basic. Basic. Uh, uh, one plus one is two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's basic. <laughs> yeah, it's basic. <laughs> basic. Yeah, that's basic. Was there any more on that? What you had, Kalani? Yeah, keep, yeah, keep, keep reading right. all the way to, but to your percent. Uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna start. This is Rock 10 and um, 5. In the hand of the Most High is the prosperity 
of man and upon the person of the scribe shall he lay his honor, bear not hatred to thy neighbor. Oh, he said, read verse five again. All right, this is Sirach 10, five. In the hand of the Most High is the prosperity says, of man. It says, in the hand of the Most High is prosperity of man. When you go, I think it's Job 32 and eight, it says the inspiration. It talks about the inspiration of the Lord, of the Most High, you know, was given unto the man. So that that goes into that as well, like um, and it said into his scribe, right? Mm -hmm. You got men like Baruch and whatnot that was the scribes. And when you read uh second Ezra 14, it talked about how the books were published, and about 70 of them, it's metaphoric, but about 70 of them were given to uh men of wise. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. keep going. And upon the person of the scribe shall he lay his honor, and the person on the scribe shall lay his honor. And even us verbally, we're prescribing something. Mm -hmm. We're prescribing uh, we're, we're, we're prescribing uh, Esau yep. his uh, prescription of death. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Via mm -hmm. via orally. Mm -hmm. So upon us is prosperity and honor from the Lord, but we have to carry out uh, the, the job that He has in hand. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Bear not hatred to thy neighbor uh -huh. for every wrong, and do nothing at all by injury injuries. Practices, there you go. Pride in okay. Salaki, it says, do not, you know, pretty much envy one another and get mm -hmm. mad at each other for nothing. Mm -hmm. It goes in that, and I think Matthew 5. Um, mm -hmm. Keep going. That is, this is just a synopsis of what it's saying. I want to get to the brother's precept, verse 8. Pride is hateful before the most high, mm -hmm. and man, and by both, do it one to the iniquity. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by the sea, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. That's right. And, and we're in that, that transition process as we speak, man. You know, and we see, uh, you know, Israel is everywhere, man. You know, on the news, you know, they, you, you, you just uh, go out grabbing something to eat. You see Jake with fringes on, man. You know, that's the, even though they may not be in the right spirit, it's still that rise of Israel, man. Because mm -hmm. it's the spirit of things. Yeah, it's the spirit of things, man. Hey, because it, uh, 20 years ago, you know, you ain't see just a, a normal, you know, Jay just walking with fringes on, man. You know, the truth is that it's at a high level right now, man. You know, brothers got uh, uh, people at their job who know they're Israelite. Yeah. You know, and beards. Yeah, you go on their beards. You know, and that's that transition process, man. Hey, our, our people is, is 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 really starting to kind of wake up to knowing that they're Israelite. Yeah, you know, it's it's just it's so like it's just, they a lot of them. <clears throat> you have the two thirds. Yeah, even two thirds gonna wake up to mm -hmm. I'm an Israelite. Yeah, you know, but it's you have to go deeper than that and get the correct doctrine. Mm -hmm. Now, what's going around a lot is the spirit of science. Mm -hmm. When you go into the word science, it means to know. All right, so it's the spirit of people just knowing something. It says knowledge will increase in uh, Daniel 12 chapter. Okay. Yeah, and I was going to say, as you see Israel on, on the incline, <coughs> you can see Esau on the decline. Goddamn, he, he's dying at a faster rate than he's giving birth in his own goddamn kingdom. That's right. That's not going to happen in our kingdom. We're going to have multiple, That's right. you know, yeah. plenty. The scripture tend to be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm. You know, brothers may have 17, 20 kids, you know, whatever they are desire in the kingdom, mm -hmm. man. Uh, having having uh, more births, uh, more deaths than births is not something we're even going to be worried about. And I can, that's how you know this devil is going down. The scriptures say a little one should become a, a thousand. Yeah, I'm sure I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So it's like we're going to multiply like rabbits and have eternal life. Like exactly. we can't do anything about that. Yeah. You know? That's why we need many matches. That's why, that's why we need many yeah. matches. That's right. Because <laughs> this, this guy can't even. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know brothers always say that they trying to do a damn uh, cracker rally and that shit got shut down. You can't even <laughs> goddamn be a racist in your own kingdom. And when you're a racist, that <laughs> just means to favor your own race. Yeah. You can't even do that in your own kingdom. You yeah. finish, you saw. And you know, this everything, you know, of course, the scriptures say one of the milky scriptures is a false balance is an abomination yeah. to the Lord. Well, of course, this, this whole transition. Even like the uh, the brother of Karat, as I mentioned, all the empires that were before us, starting from Egypt, going to the Assyrians, 
going to uh, the Babylonians, going to the Persians, and Medes, all the way to the Greeks and the Romans, and to God, all of it was a transition of power. In this case, it's going to be another trans a transitory state that's going to happen, but it's almost like a seesaw. There ain't no damn way two people are going to go up at the same time on a seesaw. That's right. Only one got to be exalted. One is going to be exalted. One's going to be contrite. Mm -hmm. Contrite meaning of the ground. Mm -hmm. All right. And right now, hey, we we are we are a contrite spirit. Hold Isaiah, um. 57 and uh, 15 and hold Isaiah 66 and 2 because we're of a contrite spirit but that seesaw is about to go up. Who's going to be contrite to come next? Esau. He's going to be low. He's going to be down to the earth and to the ground. You know what I'm saying? Did you have more in your precept? Did you have precept? No. Nah. Yeah, 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 finish yeah. your precept. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Okay, come on. I'm going to all right, Isaiah 57. Uh, again, Isaiah 66 and 2 first. This is Isaiah 66 verse 2. For all those things had my hand made, and all those things have been said, the Lord, you I was out shout, but to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. And trembleth at my word. We, that's meaning having the fear of the Lord. But that contrite spirit of the elect one forty four right now, that's us. You know, we're just man, up and down and out. Even though we still have a positive mindset in this yeah. thing. Hey, the spirit is with us. The spirit, right. the spirit is with us. The spirit should even say, uh, fail not to be with them that that, that we can mark. That's right. You know, so that's, right. that's actually a good thing. That's a, that's a good thing. You know, because I mean, like, yeah, we, we but we still have a positive mindset yeah. going throughout our tribulation. And yes, it's, it's we have a balance of everything. Mm -hmm. We have a we have a contrite spirit. So hold on one second. We have a contrite spirit, and we also have a jolly spirit. That's right. You know. <clears throat> so uh, with that, go to Isaiah fifty-seven fifteen because we're going to see what he's going to do with the ones who are of the contrite spirit. God, this is Isaiah fifty-seven and fifteen. For thus saith the high and lofty one, the high and lofty one. So mm -hmm. yes, it's like a lofty one that inhabit eternally, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place mm -hmm. with him also that is of a constrite, contrite, contrite, mm -hmm. and humble spirit. So he dwells in a, in a high place, which is the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. in, that, in that dimension, but also he dwells within us. Mm -hmm. That's why you have the, the, the temple, you know, when it speaks about the temple in, in the book of Corinthians, <coughs> it's us. Mm -hmm. sure. You know what I'm saying? The spirit's in us. You yeah. dwell it, when, you, when you go into Revelation 3. And it says, Yahweh shall knock at the door, will knock at the door. Whoever answered, I will come in and sup with him. Mm -hmm. Well, he's he's right here. He's in he's in us. Okay? He, he, his spirit is dwelling with us. Mm -hmm. All right. Keep going. And, it, and he's dwelling with a contrite spirit. When you look at all the people that Yahweh Shai um healed and all the people he dealt with, it wasn't you no know, renowned men, you know high stature and this it wasn't man he dealt with the lowly 12, 12 disciples who were fishing for to get by you know doing you know whatever mm -hmm. who didn't have who had really nothing to lose mm -hmm. that's why they could drop everything and go straight forward and, and follow him because they were of a contrite spirit because they're tired of their own empire yeah. mm -hmm. you know <laughs> you, you finish that off you were about to say something no nah, you didn't talk to me come on it says to revive the spirit of the humble. Woo, to and, you, revive. and you know when you revive anything, you bring something back to life. Mm -hmm. he, he put life back into us, man. You know, it's, yeah. our, it's our hearts. The breath you know, of life. The breath of life, yeah. The breath of life. You know, mm -hmm. um, living waters, you know. Mm -hmm. Welcome to paraphrase in that part. Go ahead. It says, um, it's like, and to revive the, the heart of the con contract mm -hmm. want. Contrite ones. The contrite ones, and again, mm -hmm. going to the word contrite, it means underground, man. All right, and the humble, the humble, the feeble, mm -hmm. he's going to revive us. Yeah. All right, and that's that, tra that transitory or that transition mm -hmm. of that seesaw. And where the contrite ones will wah, come back up and we yeah. and a tear in the worm from our eye, like it says in the book mm -hmm. of Revelation. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. uh, so I, I had a quick precept. Okay, okay. I, mean, I was going to say, we like, oh, we got we, we actually got a place where we can rule that. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's gonna bring us up, man. Like, hey, we don't 
Because we had to because we had to bark on the telephone pole around right there, man. You know, brother is it's, it's finished out here, man. And it's really big. The Lord's gonna bring this up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is uh Matthew uh, chapter five and verse five. It says, Blessed are the meat for they Matthew 5 and verse 5. It says, Blessed are the meat, for they shall inherit the earth. And it goes into you know, the world of bringing out how the contract the Lord is doing with the low and, and, um, and the humble. Mm -hmm. uh, it says, you know, The meat shall inherit the earth. Okay. And that's, that's being in a contract uh, state, you know, a mind and being physically contract. Mm -hmm. God. All right. Those are the people that shall inherit the earth. The earth, the earth. That's the right. ones that are exalted. Mm -hmm. That's right. He didn't say the high minded, you know, the pride of the scriptures. We look back on it, man. You know, he, he never chose someone who was so high and mighty and think they had it all, you know? Mm -hmm. He just, never dealt with, people, uh, dealt with people like that. And just to paraphrase what Howard Shai said to the rich man, that a camel, mm -hmm. you know, can read what I think reach through the eye of a I think like, like an haystack. That's something like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. But a rich man, he wouldn't be able to enter in like that. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm paraphrasing. Yeah. Loosely paraphrasing. Yeah. Thread through the eye of a needle. Thread through the eye of a needle. Yeah. You know, like a big ass camel can get through. Right. You know, but not a rich man because it's not it's not for them. That's why you got the book of James. Mm -hmm. And it talks about about the rich. You got a precept? Yeah, that's all. Get your yeah. out there. Right. You got a precept? Nah. Can you hold on? Uh, go ahead, brother. Uh, you want me to go? Uh, this is Matthew 19, mm -hmm. and I'll try to uh, 29. It says, And everyone that have forsaken houses, or brethren, mm -hmm. or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, mm -hmm. shall receive a hundredfold, mm -hmm. and shall inherit, ever, inherit everlasting life. You know, and that. Receive a hundredfold of that, that crown, man. You know, that's why that, that going to the topic of the lesson, that's what we're, we're yearning for, man, to, to receive that hundredfold. You know, and, and in order to do that, we have to uh, forsake forsaking certain things. Is, is, uh, basically, it comes hand in hand with it because ultimately we're going to give it back in the kingdom, man. Uh, you know, and this is verse 30. It says, But many that are first shall be last. Mm -hmm. And the last shall be first. You know, that's that transition once again. You know, because at this, at this point in time, we're in, we're last, man. We're, we're, we're the, the, the low, you know, but it said, uh, and the last shall be first. Man. Mm -hmm. You know, so hey, the scriptures speak about us being joint heirs. We have watching Yahweh Shah in Romans, uh, the eighth chapter. Mm -hmm. You know, if the brother can hold that too, you know, they, uh, us being children of, of the Most High. You know, so that's that, that transition, you know, that, that we're seeking for and we're hastening in, in the day. I got you. you know? Come on, this is a Romans chapter 8, I'll start at 16. It says, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. That's right, it says the spirit, the spirit bear witness that we are the children of the Most High. Why? Because we understand that uh, in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, Hey man, them curses fit us uh, to a T, man. That's right. You know, hey, them curses fit Israel to a T. And, yeah, it's tailor made, man. The perfect fitting, man. You know, and, it, and it, it's not with any other uh, uh, heathen nation, man. Them, them curses don't fit uh, Edomite, you know, but they, they'll be the first one to say, the Lord is with me, you know, <laughs> or God did this for me. You know, but they not uh, the, the spirit bear witness with Jacob that we're the children of the Most High, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the scriptures speak throughout all throughout the scriptures. Uh, Yahweh Shah, you know, uh, Paul, hey, the Lord uh, deals with a particular nation. Man. Mm -hmm. you know? It goes on to say, verse 17, Romans 8 and 17, it says, And if children, uh, then heirs, mm -hmm. heirs, heirs of the Most High. And joint heirs with Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. If so be that we that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. And it goes perfectly with that with Matthew uh, 19 to 29 verse, man. It's the second thing that's that's suffering, man. You know, not being able to be or uh, to have a, a relationship with your kids, you know, 
not not being to have a, a, a good relationship with your mom or your dad, you know, putting the truth first, you know, that's that's suffering, man. Patience, you know, y'all really got it. Oh, hey, that's beautiful. And that's being in the right spirit, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you you basically sacrificing your life. You know, everything everybody you once knew, you know, everything you once probably did, man. You sacrificing all that, giving that all up for you. How about shooting out a shot? You know, and you being humble about it, you being lowly about it. Now you're starting to sigh and cry, and you're starting to wake up and realize, man. You know, that's that's who he's looking for, man. But once again, he's not looking for people who's gonna, uh, nah, I just do this later. Let me just go out and party, you know. Let me go out and do this. Uh, let me take that Saturday off. No, man. Hot date. Yeah, you know. And then fuck, fuck a hot date, you know. And then I'll go to like. That all goes back to the scripture we opened up to. Uh, mm-hmm. Rising and departing mm-hmm. is like, mm-hmm. you know, that, that's spiritually, mm-hmm. all right? Forsaking everything that is on earth because it's, it's, it's temporal, mm-hmm. all right? The kingdom of heaven is going to get established with us forever. Mm-hmm. So that's what you should be uh, uh, putting your, uh, you know, your trust and your faith and your all into, that's what you know. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, come on. This is 2 Corinthians 4, verse 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, mm-hmm. working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Yeah, our light burden. Because really, this ain't nothing, man. When you look at the generations of old, or what our forefathers had to go through, how Job was tried, you know, mm-hmm. and, uh, and and Daniel, you know, being thrown into the lion's den. This is very a uh, very light affliction, man. We, the Lord ain't asking too much of us, you know, to, to do what we uh, need to do as far as it's true. Mm-hmm. We're not being we're not being thrown into a lion's den. We're not being thrown into a furnace, you know. Mm-hmm. Mouth. Yeah, fish mouth, you know. Mm-hmm. We're, we're not having our, our, our kids killed, you know, balls like Joe. Mm-hmm. You know, but this is a light affliction. So go through it in order to reach the ultimate goal. Mm-hmm. And, it, and even so, like. We're still in the practice stages or the boot camp stage right now. We mm-hmm. haven't really hit the true test. Right. And even so, when we, when we hit that test, because you got to remember, I'm not, I'm not, you know, but like when you read the book of Ezra, when you read these these books, mm-hmm. they're always saying, woe is me, because they saw the vision of the day that we're about to enter. Mm-hmm. Then them going through the lion's den, them going in the fish's mouth, them getting put in the fire and furnace mm-hmm. is going to be nothing compared to Jacob's trouble. We're gonna go through, but I'm not. It, it, even 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 Jacob's trouble is gonna be a lot of affliction. Hold up, wisdom of Solomon three. We start the first. Keep going. All right, this is um Saint Corinthians four and eighteen. While we look not at the things which are seen, mm-hmm. but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, there you go. but the things which are not seen are eternal. The things which are not seen are eternal. Now, when you go to Colossians the first chapter, it talks about. It gives it, it sets the preeminence of Yahweh Shai, and it shows that he created everything visible and invisible, principalities and powers, everything, it's dominions, powers, all of that. It says it. Okay. So when we look at the things that Yahweh Shai created in the invisible, on the right hand side, all right, you what the kingdom of heaven, the things we're gonna receive, all this other stuff is gonna be cloudy to us, it's not gonna be anything. We're mm-hmm. almost going to be like that horse with those blinders on. Like, I don't care what's going on in the outside. I just see the curly, the, the, the mm-hmm. gates, the 12 gates, of the 12 tribes. Mm-hmm. You've got t- tunnel vision. When I see the 12 gates of the 12 tribes, the, the transparent gold, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the bright golden city of the, the kingdom of heaven when we have our vision. I don't care if I'm getting tortured. I don't care if I have to go through something. I don't care if I have to have a nice little sit down conversation with death. Mm-hmm. I don't care because I already know I won. According to First uh, Corinthians the fifteenth, uh-huh. we got victory. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. it's, it's, uh, it's only for the moment too. Mm-hmm. You know, exactly. all, all these things we're going to, I mean, going through. You know, it's only for the moment. Mm-hmm. You should look at every situation. You know, just be like, "Fuck, like, it's only for the moment." You know, I'm, I'm gonna get the upper hand. You know, it's right. coming. You know, vengeance is coming. Recompense is coming. Mm-hmm. And and behold, you know, the kingdom of heaven is going to be here. Yeah, that's why we that's why we have this liberty now to practice the patience and the long suffering and the yep. long suffering right now 
to so we can be geared up and ready for that time when we're going to have to exercise those true characteristics come time when we um, when the tribulation hits. Yeah, Some guy reading something? Yeah. You going to say something? Yeah, so we can get that incorrupt, um, incorrupt burn. There you go. Mm-hmm. Again, First Corinthians 15. Yeah. Or the inc- I'm talking about the incorruptible body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like one of the, the worst things that we have right now is these chains of darkness. Yeah. You know, that's what's going to be afflicted. Not our spirit. So, yeah, let me just take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still got my I still got my energy. Yeah, no, because the spirit is an energy. It's a, it's a, it's a fire. Mm-hmm. You know, you got. The, did you finish it yourself? Oh, I'm kind of finished. Come on, get this real quick. Now, this is wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 1. Mm-hmm. It says, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High. There you go. Keep going. And there shall be no torment, to, and there shall no t- torment touch them. And there shall no t- torment touch them. The souls of the righteous, mm-hmm. the 11 and 44, their spirits are, are in the clutches of the Harabash and Yahushai's hand. Mm-hmm. Who can, the scriptures say, who can pluck them out mm-hmm. from my father's hand? Yahweh said, who can pluck them out of my hand, let alone my father's hand? If you can't even get them out of my hand, you can't even go through the first layer. I'm sorry. My angels camp around me. You can't even get past my angels. Because I'm going to send the archangel Michael to come down and fight for them, according to uh, Daniel, the 12th chapter. You can't even get around me. You ain't even going to get to me. So how, let alone, you can pluck them out of my hand, you can't even plug them out of uh, the most high hand. You can't, you can't touch us. You can't touch my way. That's why it says the souls of the righteous are in the hand, are in the hand of the Lord. No torment shall touch me. That's that's tunnel vision right there. We know that we know that scripture going into the day of Jacob's trouble. I don't care what you're doing to me. I don't care what you're fit if you're physically hurting me. Who's to say I even feel it? It may tickle me. You cut my arm off and I'm laughing hysterically at your ass. Like I Stop yeah, tickling, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Keep going and, and listen to the song. Uh, I'm past two, bro. This, this is just gonna flow. Uh, Keep verse going. two. It says, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. And focus on when it says the unwise. Reread it. Verse two. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. Mm-hmm. And their departure is taken from misery. Mm-hmm. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. That's right, but we're at peace. Because we win. Mm-hmm. Precious in the sight of the Lord, the death of the saints. What is that? Psalm uh, 116, I think. So it says, in, in their sight of the unwise, mm-hmm. it looks like our destruction and our, and our going away is of pure destruction. They're like, damn, man, you got chopped up. And mm-hmm. damn, we, we, what was done to the Maccabean brothers could be done to us in Jacob's trouble. Mm-hmm. But we just laughing throughout the whole thing. And they find in the Lord, the Lord decides to take the spirit out of that, yeah. out of that vessel, mm-hmm. not them. And once we leave, they think, man, man, they, they ruined him. Yeah, yeah. And we didn't feel a thing. And we went away in peace. We didn't feel that thing. Keep going. It said, verse 4, but though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is there a hope full of immortality. There you go. It says the hope. Mm-hmm. The hope. Right. Tunnel vision, like the brother said. Mm-hmm. We got hope in something. We can see the kingdom. And that goes again, man. It's been going somewhere going around. The, the, the kingdom of heaven is going to be on the planet Earth, man. It's going to come right down on this planet that we stand on today. The kingdom is going to come right down there. Someone check the comment book too. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akaf Kadash, bro, I can tell me to your brothers on the other comment book. Uh, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. You know, yeah. about, to, about to say too, um, the, the hope goes into having confidence and faith too. You know, mm-hmm. belief. Because you need hope, like, oh, hope I can get through it. Let's give you that basis of faith, man. And your faith is going to increase. That's right. It, it, it's a lot for coming on, but like the hope, if you don't have a, a vision on anything, you can't obtain that that spirit of hope. Uh-huh. You can't. Yeah. What are you hoping for then? There's a, there's a saying um, if you don't stand for <clears throat> what, if you don't stand for anything, you'll fall. If you fall, you'll fall, you'll fall, you'll fall for anything. It's the same thing, and it's true. If you, yeah, you might be in a GMS camp preaching, yeah. but if you don't really truly believe the words that you're reading and bringing out in camp, first, that makes you a hypocrite. Second, you don't really have the spirit of hope in you, okay? Because you can't see it. Because yeah, it's the same chapter says, hope in something that's not seen. Hope in something that's not seen. Mm-hmm. You know, you actually got to believe 
in that there's something the invisible like you read mm-hmm. in second corinthians four mm-hmm. you got to really believe that that is there and hope it comes mm-hmm. that's where your hope comes through your belief and faith like the brother zakari was saying when your confidence the word confidence is, is means with faith sure. that's what it means that's what confidence means con with and for this faith with faith all right you get the word of uh, uh infidel when you yeah. when you're lacking faith that's without faith infidel and you got confidence don't be an infidel and not have the hope that you need to get the hell up out of here because if you don't have hope while you're going through your tribulation that the whole world's gonna get tried like it says in the book of revelation then you ain't gonna get through it bro you ain't gonna get through it because your belief and your faith was enough to par. Mm-hmm. You don't got hope in nothing. You don't got. You didn't hope that the kingdom of heaven will fall down, come you know, come from the clouds and fall upon uh, 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 the planet. Mm-hmm. You didn't have hope in that. Mm-hmm. That's, that's why the, uh, y'all, y'all were made it to where we didn't know. We don't know who the elect is, man. Yeah. You know, because hey, if you say Karak is out, a rock, Kashiqual is a car, and the lion is gonna be. Part of 144,000, you wouldn't be doing this right now. Chilling. You'll be chilling with our feet up, man. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and that's why, that's why, so I can, mm-hmm. that's why uh, we got the hope, man. Mm-hmm. You know, because we know that there is a leg, you know, but even though we don't see it, and we know we got the hope that hey, we might be a part of that number just off of the faith that we have in the scriptures. That, hey, we doing it, what the scriptures say, man. Hey, you know what's crazy, too? I, I, I gotta say this, because you said we don't know if we're a part of that number. Mm-hmm. But we follow at the footsteps of Yahweh Shai, right? Mm-hmm. Don't you think he knew he was yes. the son of the Most High? Yes. Don't you think he knew the power he had? Yes. He knew yes. and yes. still didn't sit back. Yes. He put in work, yes. but he knew. Yes. Right. I mean, he knew he was the first group. He knew he was the first one. Yes. He knew he could. Yes. He said it. I could bring a legion of angels and decimate yes. this place yes. if I want to. Okay. He knew it. But according to Philippians two, he just took the likeness of a man. He didn't, he, what did, I mean, Philippians 2. He said, uh, matter of fact, get Philippians 2 real quick. I got something too. Come on, get uh, that while you get Philippians 2. Go ahead. This is um, Isaiah 53, verse 3. Oh, yes. But he, he is despised and rejected of men. Man, start at 1. I right, can't. This is Isaiah 53. Because one. this whole, the, read Isaiah. If you have a chance to read Isaiah 53, read it every day, man. So you can get more and more appreciation for Yahweh Shah and what he went through to, to save our ass, man. Okay. Go ahead. This is Isaiah 53 and 1. Who had believed our report? Mm-hmm. And to whom is the arm of the of the Lord Yahweh Shah Yahweh Shah revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant mm-hmm. and as a root out of a dry ground. He had no form nor comeliness. Mm-hmm. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Mm-hmm. He is despised and rejected of men. Hey, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. God. A man of sorrows and acquainted, acquainted with Acqu- grief. Acquainted with grief, meaning yeah. grief was doing the, the skippity doodah on the yellow brick road with him. Mm-hmm. Right there, hand in hand with Yahweh Shai. All right, there's no other reason why he went up to the uh, Gethsemane to pray to the Lord in such agony. Because he had all that guilt and all that trouble on him, man. Mm-hmm. He was acquainted with the grief. Mm-hmm. Always running for, for his life. Mm-hmm. Not that he was shying away from it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. He was despised and we mm-hmm. esteemed him not. Keep going. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Ooh. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the most high and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Mm-hmm. He was bruised for our iniquities. Mm-hmm. The See, chastisement. You see, he says he was he was stricken, he was bruised for, for, for what we did, for us going off. Okay? Now, the, uh, the scripture said in Romans 3 that the law, and get, I think Romans 3 and 20, get that real quick. I want to say so lucky nah, but bro. when you when you go on and when you when you really speak about your house shot you gotta get it because yeah. you gotta get the full you gotta get the full you gotta push the full uh the fullness of them so you can bring out the full potential of appreciation and brothers mm-hmm. for your house shot he is worthy to be praised man 
If we did not have the hour shot, we would be screwed, man. Because we're all guilty. Get on this 3 and 20, bro. Hold that, brother. Hold that. We're we going to get this. Go ahead. Romans 3 and 20. It says, therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be, flesh be justified in his sight. We go. So this goes towards all the people. The law, the law, the law, the law, the law. The law. Yeah, we keep the law because the law is spiritual, like it says in Romans 7 and 14, because it's Yahweh Shah. Right. The law is Yahweh Shah. That's why he's the only one who could keep it perfect in the flesh. Right. Keep going. It says, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Now, we were meant to be on this earth to be perfect individuals and to only know good. Mm -hmm. We were only supposed to know good. We weren't supposed to know the left hand side. But thanks to the nigga woman. Uh, all right? Mm -hmm. It's different. That's why through, say it, brother. Through her, we die. We all die, man. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> we got problems through her. Mm -hmm. Okay? But there would not need to be a law if all we knew was good. That's right. That's right. We, what, what are you going to tell us? Like, do this good, do this good, do this good. We're already doing that because I don't know what's bad. Yeah. But since the woman came and told us to do this, that, and the third, mm -hmm. but we're cursed because we listen. Mm -hmm. When you go into in Genesis 3, mm -hmm. because we listen to the woman, now we're in this predicament. Now the Lord had a boom. They need a law because mm -hmm. now they know what's bad. And I got to say, don't do that, do this. Mm -hmm. That's why we have the law. Keep going. Verse 21. Mm -hmm. But now, the right. And it's like it said in verse 20, not justified by the law, right? Mm -hmm. All right, keep going. It says, but now the righteousness of the most high without the law is manifested. Oh, so like it. in verse 20, did it say we're all guilty? Uh, it says, therefore, by this verse 20, mm -hmm. it says, therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified mm -hmm. in sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Keep going. It's verse 21. But now the righteousness of the Most High without the law is manifested, mm -hmm. being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of the Most High, which is by faith of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. It's the implement of the faith. Mm -hmm. It's not just about the law, it's about the faith in Yahweh Shah. Exactly. Keep going. It says, unto all and upon all them that believe, all that there is no mean. difference. There's no difference. Keep going. It says, for all have sinned mm -hmm. and come short. Of the glory of the most high. There you go. That's then, it. Mm -hmm. Can you, you, it was a more. It says, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Yahweh Shah. That's right. Read verse 19. It's uh, it's, uh Romans 2 and 19. It says, Now we Read know verse. that what things soever the law said, it said to them who are under the law. Mm -hmm. that now it says, it says to them who are under the law, who's with them, it would be the Israelites because the law was given to us. Keep going. It says, "That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Arts and craft. <laughs> it says, it said to them who are under the law that every mouth may be stopped mm -hmm. and all the world may become guilty before the Most High.' And of course, that word world is what? Uh, that is that word. Gone. That word world is mean, it's no, cosmos. 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 Mm -hmm. and that word world there is cosmos yeah, because, because, the law, because the law is only given to Israel." That's right. no, because it says live. Yeah, yeah. All right, so it's speaking about a particular, it says given to them, and it says the world that they all may be what? It says the world that they may, may all may become guilty before the most. That they may become guilty before the most. Mm -hmm. Because now we have the knowledge of sin. All right? Mm -hmm. So the law itself just doesn't justify you. It's the belief and the hope, the confidence, the faith that you have in your heart shot. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to get you by. All right? Not just the law, because you can keep the law to the T if you want. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you're going to get a ticket on the chariot? No. Because the question is going to be asked, did you have faith in me? What's that? All right, then. Join the rest in, in, the, in the second death, because mm -hmm. you didn't have faith. Did you have a precept? Did you have something? I, I, just, just, say say well, I, I just said this. Oh, yeah. 53. Keep going on Isaiah 53. Right, come. This is Isaiah 53, verse 5. <laughs> But he was wounded for our transgressions. Mm -hmm. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace mm -hmm. was upon him. Mm -hmm. And with his stripes, we are all healed. Mm -hmm. Well, we are healed. Slightly. When we take one, all we like sheep have gone astray. Mm -hmm. We have turned every one to his own way. 
and the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. Mm -hmm. Go and say, please, the end of it where it says, please the Lord's bosom. I'm going to tell you one. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth and said a word. Father said, you the king of Jews, thou say it. Let's get the process going. Keep going. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before the shears is done. So he opened not his mouth and said, the sheep of the shears are done. And you don't say nothing. The word done means you, don't, you can't speak. Keep going. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? And this is the book of Isaiah. You know this is a prophecy about Yahusha. Keep going. For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgressions of my people was he stricken. They go for me because well, the sins that we were uh, um, occupied in. But Yahweh sent him to make amends. Keep going. And he was made his grave with the wicked mm -hmm. and with the rich in his death. And what? The, the, the two men on the other side mm -hmm. of the cross. And also the scripture said that he sat with the publicans and sinners. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. There was no guile. Even mm -hmm. uh, Pilate was like, what, what do you do, man? Like, what do you do? False witnesses came up, charged him with blasphemy. Keep going. Yet it pleased the Lord and how to bruise him. Mm -hmm. He had put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord, Yahweh shall, shall prosper in his hand. Mm -hmm. He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. Mm -hmm. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many. For he shall bear their iniquities. He shall bear their iniquities. Now this is this this is reading about our ticket to how we get home. We want to go home. Well, this is the ticket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how was shy and recognizing what he had to go through. This is our ticket home. You got to actually believe and, and have faith in your was shy. Not just keep the law, the law, the law. No, no, you need your was shy, man. Mm -hmm. And then do what he says according to the law. You know, I'm not gonna if I don't believe in an individual, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have any respect or have, pay homage to that individual yeah. or mm -hmm. even keep what he says. Mm -hmm. I don't appreciate you what you've done for me. Mm -hmm. But if you have someone who's leading you and you appreciate them and you have a, a understanding of what they went through and what they're trying to put in the game they're trying to kick to you, mm -hmm. man, I'm gonna do whatever you say, man. Yeah. And I believe in you. That's how we should be towards you, how shot, man. Mm -hmm. And have that hope that we can go home. Because that's what we want. You know? Even the scripture say, uh, everyone that, scripture that says, Lord, Lord, should not yeah, in, enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. So it's more than just knowing the name Yahweh Wah Yahweh is It's actually putting forth that effort mm -hmm. to understand that the, the background and the history of, of what Yahweh did or, or what Yahweh Shah went through. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what that's really what the brother is saying. You know, it, it, that's why it's so important, you know, to get into the scriptures, you know, to understand the, the, the task that, that is at hand, you know, what uh Yahweh shot uh, uh, uh carrying his, the, the burden of, of the cross, or, or even us, you know, carrying the burden of, of the cross that we're carrying, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. just because you know the, the, the name's name, man, what are you doing, man? You know. Are you sitting at home being just like a two third nigga, you know? But on lessons, you trying you trying to go into the scriptures, and then you, you cut the camera off. You got a big ass bag of hot Cheetos beside you, man. Yeah, sure. That ain't what it's about, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. Y'all know that. Yeah, um, okay. Say something too, and you can see um starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, they kept hoping, and all the way on down, we're still hoping. Now we can see prophecies, you know. I would see things happening too. And that lets us, that's like a spiritual inclination on, all right, we're on the right track. Like the brother, um, Kasha Paula said earlier, we're, we're following your house shot's footsteps, you know? Us following your house shot's footsteps, we, now we're starting to see the spiritual things, man. You know, him getting closer and closer. So that just boosting our, our hope, our confidence, you know, our faith, why we should keep enduring, you know, praying, um, being brotherly to one another. Because we, we see the signs, you know, we're seeing more chariots, 
You know, brothers have the more spiritual um, visions. We're we seeing brothers grow. And it's all through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh And that's why we're still hoping to keep pushing, too. That's right. Come on. Somebody asked me that. He said, yeah. This is Isaiah 53, verse 12. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he had poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many and made intersection for the transgressors. That's right, he said made intersection for the transgressors. Us. That's why you have that's why you have a book of Jude, and Jude was his biological brother. All right, where it says he uh he uh he pulling pulling a man out the fire. But that's it. He made intercession for us too. That's why uh, you have the book of Hebrews. There, he, Paul was trying to speak to the Hebrews, like, look, man, we gotta have a shy now. You don't have to do these turtle doves and all these offerings. He was our intercession, uh, our intercessions. You don't have to go to the Levites because we're all kings and priests now. Sure. When you pray, now you pray like you how about you how it's shy. That's what you say because you say the intercession, the the the, the middleman's name, which is Yahweh Shah. Everything got to filter through him to get to Yahweh in the first place. So you got to have that appreciation and that love for for the ticket. Because uh, yep. Yahweh Shah is the ticket, man. You got Yahweh made Yahweh Shah the ticket. He's like, look, y'all, y'all better praise my firstborn's name, man. Because I made you elect 144 for him anyway. Right. Okay. He's the ticket. You better believe in him so you through him you can come to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't come to me straight no more. And it ain't like that. You remember Jeremiah 15 and 1, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> I cast y'all out of my sight. You got to deal with Yahweh Shai now. You got to yeah. believe in him. And you got to see what he, uh, what he went through. Okay. He just went through those things because what he did in his past lives. You know, but defeated death. Defeat and conquer death. You know, uh, uh, Matthew, we're going to get Yahweh Shai's words real quick, and I'm, I'm going to pass it back to the uh, Brother Karatis. So I'm going to close it out. It's Matthew chapter 6 and verse 9. It mm -hmm. says, After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which are in heaven. And this is the Lord's prayer. Mm -hmm. Hallowed be thy name. Mm -hmm. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy kingdom come. Mm -hmm. And we're doing the will right now on earth. All right, but where's the kingdom gonna come? Keep going. Thy will be done in earth Ooh. as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. So the will of the Lord, where's your how up there in heaven, in that dimension, and he wants his will is being done here on earth. It says, Thy kingdom is come. So anyone saying that the kingdom of heaven is not gonna be on the planet Earth, please explain this to me. Right. Where's it gonna be then? Jupiter? The hell out of here, man. No, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. That's right. All right, so the, the kingdom of the head of heaven is going to come down on the planet earth, plain and simple. All right, anyone who says otherwise, you're bugged out. Uh, yeah, I said it, you're bugged out, okay, because it's coming down to earth, and that's what we hope for, and that's why we want to go home. Keep going. You gonna say something? Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say, bro. Like you said, you bugged out and believe it. Mm -hmm. uh, the Christians, man, their uh, interpretation, because that's all it is of the scriptures, mm -hmm. which the scriptures tell you that there's no proper interpretation. They don't have the truth. They believe in some of the most comical things <laughs> ever. Oh, man. Like, yeah, like it, it's a. It's a a red man under the ground with a pitchfork, and you got uh, some bald head white babies. Yeah, wings like but maybe, yeah, like you gonna go in into the clouds and you gonna dwell up there in the kingdom of heaven, which has to be very Come oh, on, bro. Yeah. Well, what's the purpose of even having? Yeah, yeah, we gonna dwell in in, in the heavens, and then the earth is gonna be sitting down here. They like it, really and like it. it's chill. What's the purpose of what we started off? The scripture we started off. Yeah. With? If the earth is going to buy forever, what were you just going to abandon it? Right, we just going to abandon the earth. It was going to buy forever. This is bad. No, man. Oh, man. It's going to be good man. Off. Man, why would he create something that's just not going to be? Right. You, 
Right, like, even <laughs> even uh America is still gonna be used after they get destroyed because it's made of uh the the unclean files. Yeah, unclean files. Yeah, they gonna use it. Yeah, they gonna use it. The elements, the sand, everything is gonna be over here. Everything, every element has its purpose. It's gonna be a big ass in here desert. Exactly. You know? But yeah, they but they can't get the, the common sense or the common knowledge of the script. Because they don't got hope. That's all it is. They gotta be they got hope, but it's gotta be like real far fetched. Mm -hmm. Like it gotta be almost to the point where it's, it's fictional, guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you gotta, yeah, like you gotta sell a little kid a drink. Yeah. You just can't tell them. Hey, that's why. They, that's why Chris has got the uh, cartoon book. Yeah, yeah. Sunday school and shit. Yeah. Like you got them kids. Like you just got a, a, a toddler or something. You yeah. just can't give it to them straight up. Like King of Heaven's right there. Yeah. You don't get it. You gotta make, yeah. make it look all nice and yeah. stuff. Make it yeah. make it sound good. You know? Yeah. That shit crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But uh, verse 10 it says, Thou kingdom come, thou will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Mm -hmm. Uh, verse oh, 13. You can, you can stop right there. Come. You can stop right there. Come. Come. Yep. Uh, and we gonna uh close off on this uh last scripture. I don't know, Isaiah 2 and 2. Kind of brother, yeah, you got it, right? Yeah, yeah. Kind of. this is Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 2. And it shall come to pass in the last days. That this, uh, so like, this being the last day, we know uh, in, uh Matthew the twenty fourth chapter. What y'all yeah, trying to describe as the last day? We're living in those times. You know, to answer your point, mm -hmm. we've been living in the last days for over two thousand years. Mm -hmm. But when Yahweh mm -hmm. was established on earth, I believe that's uh, Hebrews uh, mm -hmm. one. Uh, that tells you that uh, we're going to be living in the last day. You know, mm -hmm. once Yahweh shot. Is here on earth, and that's been over two uh, thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah 2 and 2, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. And it said, when that was the scripture speaking about mountains, it's talking about the government. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the government of, of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is going to be established, man, in the last days, and that's what we're doing now, man. We're uh, establishing that government. You know, about building the house of David. You know, you can say you are kind of. It says, and, and shall be exalted above the hills, mm -hmm. and all nations shall flow into it. It says, exalted above the hills, and all nations shall uh, flow into it. And that's meaning that these these other uh, nations are, are going to live um, and subject to what? To the law, statutes, and commandments uh, written in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know, and I know, and I know other way around it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, you get. You, Basically, you got to uh, go with the flow, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't, you, you don't have no say so about nothing, man. Mm -hmm. You know? If I may say, I'll pass right back. Uh -huh. You know, even when it says that all nations shall flow into it, that goes on along with the other heathen nations will be tributaries unto this. Mm -hmm. And all their first and all their first fruits are going to flow into uh, to the to the Israelites mm -hmm. at the end of the day. You know, you got to uh -huh. Uh, they they won't even it's like that they, they it's not even gonna be any bucking up either. You know, it's gonna be it's just, that's why I say it's flow. You know, mm -hmm. when, when whenever something flows, it's smooth. That's right. You know. And on top of the brother brought out uh Proverbs twenty nine and two. Mm -hmm. That the wicked them, they ain't gonna have a problem with it because mm -hmm. they're gonna be living good. Yeah. I'm gonna say good like that, but they're gonna be living way better than what they living now because yeah. righteous men are in control. That's right. Mm -hmm. And if I say too, these other heaters, they don't have to deal with no damn chemtrails, GMO food, fags running around. You know, everything gonna be in its pure, you know? You know, that's why I should speak about, you know, when the uh, righteous are rule, you know, the people rejoice. Well, it's it's gonna have war. They're gonna have their own plot of land. Mm -hmm. We don't want to see you. <laughs> there will be no intermingling. Mm -hmm. If you're an Elamite, you are a pure bred Elam. Elam. <laughs> See, you don't know that they full bombs. Don't be confused. Don't be confused. There'll be no more and no more confusions and faces. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Those are Israelites. Those are Elamites. Mm -hmm. Those are Moabites. Yeah. Those are Ishmaelites. <laughs> That's it. No more Edomites. All right. You know, after a thousand years, I but they're gonna be they're gonna be cooling because everything is gonna be formed like a well oiled machine. Right mm -hmm. now, this shit. You, you ever seen a bike with the wheels kind of distorted and it's mm -hmm. 
And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of, of the power of Jacob, mm -hmm. and he will teach us of his ways, mm -hmm. and we will walk in his paths, mm -hmm. for out of Zion shall go forth the law, mm -hmm. and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Hey, and that's just going back to the top of, of the lesson, man. Hey, that's what we're yearning for, man. Mm -hmm. You know, for, uh, for it, and because that's peace, man. You know, to live by the, the laws and statutes and commandments of the most high is peace, man. You know, not having to ha not having to worry about uh wickedness that's going on around you, man. You know, that's why we want to go home, man, to the kingdom, man. Come. You know, so when uh you know, uh, I remember there's a quick little uh one uh brother got a, a picture of um the America will be destroyed sign, we got a big smile on our face, man. Because we want to go home, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We understand that this is not our resting place, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, if anybody else has something, uh, God, so uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and close out. You know, I hope this lesson is uh, edifying to the icon. You know, we'll close out by giving our praise and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shah, by Shem, the Confidash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS, the ruling teeth well. Until the next time, Shalom. Shalom. The water for the hockey on the common board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.